I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. Fucking thing sucks. <laughs> I'm John Borthwick and I am uh, CEO of Betaworks. We bought Dig because uh, it is a, uh, it's a wonderful, iconic Web 2.0 brand. The site was uh, scheduled uh, to be shut down uh, at the beginning of August, so we realized that we had to run very fast in order to rebuild Dig. We decided to write the whole thing from scratch, and we knew that we had a great data set that could identify what are popular stories on the internet, and we knew that we wanted to have um, an ed editorial touch to curate that. We have three editors, um, really with their finger on the pulse of what's going on right now. We could have bought the site and like, you know, plastered more ads on it or done something kind of like just completely commercial, but you know, we truly want to build um, something that people love again and come back to. We think that mobile is key for everything in software these days. Um, everybody's on the go and you always have this thing in your pocket. You can turn on Paperboy in Dig, which will let you um, basically set different locations like your home or office, and then whenever you leave those locations, will automatically update with the latest news, will update your reading list as well. And you can read that on, offline on the subway or whatever. In terms of sort of developing the website and the iPhone app simultaneously, uh, we had about six weeks to do it, but we used a lot of the infrastructure and code that we had built for News.me and adapted it to this new platform that we built. News.me um, is still um, a social news aggregation product where we look at social signals on Twitter and Facebook, um, basically the conversation that your friends are having and the internet as a whole to figure out, hey, what's great content that you should be reading? It seemed like a good fit for us to sort of work on Dig with the experience we've had with social web and real-time news. Um, so yeah, the News.me team is now the Dig.com team. 92% of people wouldn't recommend the current Dig to uh, their friends. So that, I think, gave us some license to really um, go far in, in, with the redesign. It was really, you know, looking at the current version of Dig, looking at uh, people's reactions to like the whole Dig design, like iterative process, and how people reacted to things, and what they reacted positively to, and what they reacted negatively to, and saying people didn't really like the Dig bar at all. Like we didn't like it, and the public didn't like it. So why support it? Um, so in some cases, like it was really obvious what we, you know, knew we weren't going to build. Um, in other cases, it was a little tougher. Like things like comments, which. Um, are important for community, we felt like we had to you know, take a pass on it for now. We had to make a decision that uh, we wouldn't adopt the existing infrastructure. And it was really a decision about being able to turn Dig back into a startup. I mean, in the end, I think people have to be able to come to, to Dig and find stuff that they can't find anywhere else. You know, that's, that's sort of what Dig was about in the past, and I think that's, what, that's one thing that we have to continue to do.